and welcome to About the Game, your sports manual. Today we'll be looking at the sport of archery. Archery is the sport of using bows and arrows. The term originates from the Latin word arcus for bow. According to history, archery has been used for hunting and combat, but in recent times it has been a competitive sport. A person who participates in archery is called an archer or a bowman. The oldest known evidence of arrows comes from the South African site of Sibudu Cave where the remains of bone and stone arrowheads have been found dating approximately 60,000 to 70,000 years ago. The first Grand National Archery Society meeting was held in New York in 1844 and old practices were slowly being done away with while new rules were being standardized. By 1889, archery was included as a sport at the 1900 Paris Olympics. We found ourselves in Lusaka's Roma Township, and this is a practicing field for archery. So we'll be talking to Simon Wellington, who's been practicing archery for the past two years. So he will shed more light on what the sport is all about and all the rules surrounding it. So join us shortly. Archery is set up very simply. The reason it's simple is that the whole idea is to get an arrow into the middle of a paper target. That is the easiest form of archery, what we call outdoor archery. You can also do indoor archery where you also have paper targets. Some people prefer to do hunting where we do 3D foam targets, but mainly the most popular sport is to do what is called field archery where we shoot into different sized paper targets ranging from four centimeters to seven centimeters, 10 centimeters, and then 13 centimeters, depending on the range in which you're shooting from. Okay. So what does one need to practice archery? It's quite simple. You, you just need, you need a bow, you need arrows, especially when you're starting, you need a lot of arrows because they often get broken. Um, and then as you get better, you don't need so many arrows, but you then maybe get a better quality arrow. Um, and then you need, there's different, what's called a release aid. Um, you need good, some good protection from the sun as well, because you're often, you know, shooting outdoors. Um, you need a good pair of boots. Um, and that sh should you know, set you up for a, a good day out um, doing archery. Okay. So earlier on, you mentioned that the target is to shoot at the center of the board. So what are some of the rules that apply? Well, the rules, first of all, you've got to think about safety. So whenever you're shooting into a board, you've got to make sure that where behind the, where you're shooting to is safe. There's no people, you know, running around or possibility of people, you know, running across there. But we have what is called a board. We have a, we have a I think behind me, you can see some paper targets there. And depending on the distance, modern from which you're shooting at a very close distance you shoot at a very a, a much smaller target the farther distance you go your target is slightly bigger so you start from maybe um, 11 yards in archery we call all of the distances are measured in yards we shoot from anywhere from 11 yards all the way through to 80 yards and we have four different targets that you shoot at the um, the smallest target is basically at the center which is what you want where your maximum points are is a four centimeter target that's from um, um, 11 yards that carries five points so in field archery it's basically black and white targets the other olympic archery is then when you have a gold middle then you have red blue and so forth but mainly here in zambia we, we practice um, field archery which is black and white targets so the middle is five points and in a full round where you shoot 112 arrows, if you can get a magical score, which is 560 points, there's only very few people in the whole world that have ever achieved that. Um, that's what you're after is 560 points. So in each from 112 arrows, five points, five times 112, hopefully my mathematics is correct and you get 560. Okay. So are there different types of of bows and arrows? Yes, there are different types. The, the most popular um, type of uh, bow is, is uh, set up with a, 
a freestyle where you get like a scope where it basically enhances the paper target that you're shooting into. Some people who come from a hunting background and prefer to use their bows also for hunting um, animals, they have something called pins in there where that gives you that's your judgment to, to your target. Is it a team sport? Is it an individual sport? Well, team, and unfortunately, archery is a bit of a singular sport. You don't, you rarely get involved in teams unless you're in a competition and you might pull together. Uh, maybe two of you in in a in a team. I've shot in in a competition where we had three of us uh, actually in the team. When Zambia, we hosted the first All Africa Games at last year. I was lucky enough to be to be part of a team. But normally, it's just um, an individual singular sport. So it's just you and the board in front of you and you trying to put your arrow into the middle. So do you hit on one board only or you have to run through a course, go around and hit different targets? Yes, thank you for the question, Modern. Yeah, the, we all have different courses. Now on a course, we basically have four different boards and it's split amongst 28 different targets. So the four different boards, we, we start off at the smallest one, which is four centimetres, where we do what is called a Z shoot, which might be like Zambia, you know, you do like a Z. So you've got four centimetres, so you do one arrow to the left, one arrow to the right, one arrow to the bottom left, one arrow to the bottom right. The next one up is basically then a seven centimetre, um, basically in the middle, you also score five points. And there the distances are from 15 yards all the way back to 32 yards. The next size up is we have a 10 centimetre, where you're trying to get it in the middle, where you also get, you know, f five points. That is anywhere from 30 yards back to 50 yards. And then the biggest one you get is 13 centimetres, which is about the size of a sort of a big grapefruit. Um, that's the 13 centimetre circumference and there that's from 50 yards all the way back to 80 yards. So there's four targets with four different sizes of the middle. The closer you are, obviously the smaller the middle, unless you're very good and then you can <laughs> maybe try and get a, a small target from a very long distance. So over the course, we have um, two two courses here in Zambia. We have one just um, south of um, um, Chilanga, a place called Shimambala, and the other one is up in uh, Makushi. Um, so there's that, and the one which is in uh, Shimambala, it's actually voted to be the most technically, um, not brilliant, but the most technically difficult course in the whole of Africa. So when we hosted it um, last year, we had people coming from Namibia, from South Africa, from Zimbabwe and they were shocked at this standard of course that we put together and then when they saw it they then voted it definitely it's the most technically difficult course in, in the whole of Africa so Zambia we're doing some good stuff with archery so these courses have the same measurements and same uh, obstacles oh yes it does it wherever you shoot in the world each course it is basically, it's split into 28 different, it's called a butt. So you shoot into a butt. So the butt is hard enough to basically hold the arrow when the arrow goes in there. We're here in Zambia, we use like a rubber, which you shoot into rubber. So wherever you shoot in the world, be it here in Zambia, be it Zimbabwe, uh, Namibia, um, lots of European countries, you've got Korea, they're probably some of the best shots in the um, whole whole world. The course is standard in terms of there's 28 butts and there is a certain number of butts with a four centimeter target, a certain number with a, a seven centimeter, a certain number with a, with a 10 centimeter and a certain number with a 13 centimeter. And you've got 112 arrows. So I could be we could have a competition here in Zambia we could then go to a competition in um, Germany, we could go to a competition in Estonia, we could go to a competition in Japan, we could go to a competition in America, we could go to a competition in Australia. Whichever country is, it is in the world, you get 112 arrows. And 112 arrows, you're trying to get the magical score of 560 points. So it's a standardized course. 
Um, at times we've seen uh, you aiming at, for instance, animals are not a board like the one in your background, but it would be maybe like an animal. Uh, what is that all about? Is that okay, a different? That, yes, that's called, that's called 3D archery. They are um, high density foam targets and they mimic an animal which is in the bush. So obviously here in Africa, we would have a kudu, we would have a honey badger, we would have different birds. So that is called 3D archery, which is a slightly different um, sort of discipline um, w within archery. It's very popular um, all over the world because some people are just bored at, you know, shooting paper targets all the time. They want to sort of spice it up a little bit and, you know, shoot into animal-like, um, you know, targets. So that's three, that's called 3D archery. So that means there are many disciplines in archery. So many modern, on, honestly. Um, there's, there's a whole different age spectrum. There's youngsters basically involved all the way through to what's called veterans and then seniors. Um, recently at, at a competition last year, I, I met people who were shooting in their class, which is 65 plus, they're called the seniors. So it's, it's a discipline and a sport which can be enjoyed from um, children, from, you know, 12, 13, even 10, I think there's, you know, I, I think we've got children here as, as, as young as 10 trying to do archery all the way through until when people are 60, 65, even 70. Obviously then they're a bit, you know, maybe a bit shaky. Um, but they still enjoy it because it's good fun. It gets them outdoors and, um, you know, gets them out of the house. Okay. So are measurements different uh, when it's a child playing, for instance, or when it's a lady playing or when it's a, a fully grown man? Children, when they are shooting, they predominantly shoot at a much closer range. So you, again, you have different shooting classes. Um, you have the very young ones, then you have like the, the teenagers, then you have a young adult, and then you have the adults. And the adults are basically from age 18 through to age 55. 55 to, to 65 is then basically the, what's called the veterans, and then you have the seniors after that. So the children, when they start off, um, an adult, if they're maybe shooting, say, from 50 yards, the same shot or the same um, paper target that you'd be aiming at, the child would be allowed to aim for maybe half that distance, maybe 25 yards or even 20, you know, even 20 yards. So how many chances do you have to aim at the board? Okay, so each, each board or each butt that you basically go for, you get four arrows. So... Um, obviously, if you get it in the middle um, four times, that is basically 20 points. 20 times 112, I hope my mathematics is correct um, on TV. Hopefully 112 times 4 works out to 560. So you get each paper or each size of target, you get four chances. So the, in the middle, you basically then get five points and then in the next section you get four points and then the outer section you get three points and then if you miss you get zero points so the whole idea is to with your four arrows to get 20 points hmm, okay and it has happened where someone gets zero throughout the course oh no <laughs> <laughs> they're doing something very wrong if they if they continue to get zeros then uh, you know, even someone, you know, that's playing a, another sport, I mean, you can score a goal, you know, eventually, obviously, football's a very popular sport here. I mean, everyone can score eventually. And with with archery, if you're getting zeros, um, there's something very wrong. But we've got good training here, and uh, that really shouldn't happen. Um, there obviously are better archers, um, and some some of the better archers, obviously, they, they stand at you know, give themselves a better chance because of practice. Um, but, you know, the scores, you know, wh when you look at the high scores around the world, um, some of them were set back in the 1970s and the 1980s. Um, you know, when equipment wasn't s apparently as good as it, you know, is um, today, and they were still scoring, you know, very high scores. So it's just... Um, it's not necessarily the equipment um, it's it's the person you know be it a man or a woman we're all equal 
Um, there's no sort of um, inequality um, whatsoever. Um, there's, there's no, so we're just humans that are just trying to get an arrow in the middle of the target. How popular is the sport in Zambia? Zambia, it's basically we're trying to trying to grow it. We've got about 60 um, active archers. There are quite a few people here that um, enjoy archery and they go to the bush. We've, uh, the hunting season has just opened up now here, here in Zambia. And some people use their bows and arrows to then go hunting for um, animals. Um, I've even heard about people coming across, foreign, foreign hunters coming across from um, America and actually using their bow to go for what is called the Big Five. As obviously here in Zambia, we're one of the few countries in the world which allows the hunting of the Big Five animals. And some people do come with their bow um, and do specifically hunting just with their bow. Obviously, it's a very powerful bow and the, and the pull, the draw is incredibly, you have to be quite a strong person to actually do it. And then you pull it back and then you obviously aim on the area of the animal which will then um, minimize its uh, pain and then it'll uh, it'll die very quickly so what are some of the techniques in shooting do you have to stand in a particular way uh, do you have to uh, put the, the bow and arrow in a particular position uh, thank you modern for that question i think it's like any sport really there's there's certain techniques which you have to master and um, here in Zambia, we, uh, we use a lot of co what's called compound archery. These are the ones we saw in the Rambo films, which have got lots of different cables on them. They're, they're quite popular, and you see them not just in the Rambo films, but in, but in other films also. Um, so to any sport, you have to have a certain discipline. Now in compound archery, it's called um, basically setting up your shot or building your shot. And it's a bit like an engine of a car. And if you're experiencing a problem, you can then diagnose, hopefully, where the problem is if you've actually learned to build, build your shot. So the shot starts from obviously standing correctly. Stance is very, very important. Obviously, if you stand at a funny and obtuse angle to the target, then you're, not, you're going against nature. You're going against physics. So you're not going to stand a, a good chance um, because gravity will come into play and you're trying to get it straight and if you're not standing straight then you're going to have you know yourself a problem um, and then you end up with lots of zeros as you were saying earlier on um, then there's lots of different techniques um, involved in actually building up the shot um, and there's, you can look at in some people think there's maybe 70 or different ways or 70 different steps to actually make a shot you can simplify it and bring it down to maybe a dozen um, steps and um, then you just basically as you're setting the shot up the whole idea is to concentrate on the middle and if you keep on concentrating on the middle then you're going to do very well indeed. Can one enter with a traditional bow and Yes, there, the, yes they can. There's, there's many um, different styles. Uh, behind me you've got um, something called a compound bow, which has got lots of different cables and, and strings on it. But if you want to, you can have something called a, a traditional bow, which is basically just a single sort of piece of um, wood with one single string. Um, you have an arrow, which hasn't basically, it's got maybe feathers on it or, you know, something, you know, like that. There's no markings on it with your sighting. So your sighting, you've got to try and look for a straight tree or something to keep the, to keep the bow straight. Um, so you can have your bow from the absolute basics, which is a simple, it's called bear bow. Um, you know archery some people you can then go on to horseback archery where you then shoot from a f shoot from a horse some of the listeners may be interested in who are interested in history um, in early forms of uh, worldwide history um, a lot of armies used to use you know archery from from the horseback that's sort of um, gaining um, uh, popularity um, again um, and again then you can then decide to go up to further up you can add on a site you can add on more things and sometimes people 
do something called they don't shoot they shoot just with their fingertips and if you shoot with your fingertips that's called um, basically limited because you're limiting yourself because it's all to do with the string and if the string comes on and it's sort of wavy like that then that's the good chance the arrow is going to be wavy and it's probably going to go to a zero so you want to try and keep the string as straight as possible and the release has got to be nice and smooth and straight um, so if you are to encourage someone why should one join the sport of archery why it basically gets you out of the house or it gets you into the into the bush it gets you into the, the countryside um, so you can enjoy nature um, a lot of people we've got busy lives we're, we're locked up in the house we've got a sort of you know we work from eight o'clock until five o'clock we come back we put ourselves in front of the TV and uh, we just find that we've got busy lives so that then come the weekend we want something to go and you know do so archery enables you to do that to to get out and enjoy nature so I think that's um, very important and then also there's the physical side as well is that you keep physically fit I mean it's a presidential you know initiative to to keep um, fit so um, there's obviously depends on what level you want to go to in archery but you can join the gym um, but you need it's an endurance sport also uh, modern so to go around a course it might take you maybe four and a half to um, five hours to, to shoot a full 28 but um, you know course so it's it's the same similar length to golf I'm not really a golfer but I've heard it's about you know five six hours to, to, to do a round of golf um, with, with 18 holes depending on how quickly you walk I suppose um, so with archery uh, you know it just gets you out and about and it keeps you you have to be physically fit I mean some people go around maybe with a pot belly um, but there's there's every reason you know you can actually have a nice good physique so it keeps you um, physically fit and hopefully healthy okay. As we wrap up, Simon, uh, football, for instance, can be played from anywhere. You can even play in the road, just uh, mount uh, mm. blocks, then you can start mm. playing. Can archery be uh, played from anywhere? No, you can't do it really. No, you can't do it in a public place because of safety. Um, so you actually have to have a designated area where you would cordon off you know for, for for shooting like for example i went to oydc and they identified a place where we could safely shoot um, there's obviously a lot of other sports at oydc there's swimming there's hockey um, there's tennis um, there's football there um, there's indoor sports also so they identified an area which was away from other sports because this isn't a case of a ball that's going flying this is an arrow which flies and it's got a it's got a sh very sharp point and it's um, flying a lot quicker than a football and you know it can do you know a lot of damage so no modern it can't be done anywhere if you've got a big back garden or in Africa here we call it a yard if you've got a you know a big enough yard then you can do it in your backyard obviously you've got to make sure that um, behind the, the butt is basically clear that you know if the arrow does happen to, to go over the top then you know it smacks into a wall um, so that there's no you know risk of any um, injury there interesting lessons that we've picked from archery hope from now on you start following archery with keen interest until next time when we come with another interesting spot it's goodbye for now <laughs>